there and welcome to Everyday Fitness with Lisa. I'm Lisa and today I'm going to be doing a product review of the Thule Chariot. I'm going to go through some of the reasons why I absolutely love it as well as explain some of the drawbacks that I found as well. So one thing I love about the Thule Chariot is its durability. This thing is made to last. It has uh, super durable wheels um, that need to be inflated just like a bicycle. Um, it's got uh, interchangeable front wheels um, which is great because it allows you to do a few different things. This thing has been on gravel, it has been on grass, it has been on trails. Uh, it's a really really smooth ride um, for a mixed kind of rough terrain. Uh, the material is uh, very durable. Um, it's a kind of a see-through plastic on the side. Um, I haven't had any rips, any tears, and we are up to, well, Ella's nine months now, and I had her in here as of one month old, and she was 10 pounds, which is the minimum that you can have for the uh, infant insert, and I'll just show you. The infant insert uh, is this guy here. It's a separate piece that you need to purchase if you are going to have your infant in the Thule Chariot. Uh, with the newer mod models, it's a super easy installation. I recommend that you check out the Thule Chariot YouTube uh, videos for that because they go through it really nicely, makes it really easy. It just attaches at the top, and then there's two D-Link uh, rings at the bottom, and, uh, and it literally just straps right on there, and it creates like a nice uh, bouncy, cushy ride for the baby. Um, it has adjustable straps in here as well, making for a very durable uh, and safe experience for my little one, which is of course of utmost importance. The second thing I really like about the Thule Chariot is its easy to use system. Okay, as far as uh, pushing and pulling is concerned, I mean that's pretty straightforward, but the braking is what I love. Okay, so it has a brake here just on the back side, this red knob. All right, all you have to do is provide resistance and it clips in. Okay, so I provide a little bit of resistance back and I can push it in. Now, it's very effective. I would have to literally skid out my wheels in order for it to go anywhere. So it's uh, quite reliable that way. Just to release it now, all I have to do, oh, okay, is just clip up with my toe, all right, and, uh, and now it's ready to go again. So very, very easy, just click, do something, and ready to go. So nice, easy braking system. I also like the handles uh, for usability. I'm a little taller uh, than the average female, so I'm uh, not quite six feet tall. And all I have to do to get this higher option, which is a little more comfortable for me, um, is to just invert the handle. So for the handle, all you need to do is push in on the buttons on the inside here and pull and it literally just comes right out. So now this is more ideal for me, especially when I'm walking or I'm jogging, because that's right where my hands are. Um, if I were a little shorter, it would probably be more comfortable for me to have the handle down like this. Now all I have to do is snap it into place. And now it's a little lower for me as well. So uh, it is nice because it provides that usability. It's very user friendly that way. Another thing I like about the Thule Chariot for usability is how easy it is to provide um, protection from the elements. So if it's sunny outside and she doesn't have a hat on or sunglasses because she refuses to wear those, I will just put over a Velcro piece. Now this all comes with the Chariot. This is just a Velcroed um, sunshade. Okay, so she can see through this bit and it dips down so even when the sun is lower on the horizon she still gets protection from the sun which is fantastic. Then if there's bugs, okay, I have a second layer that I can put down. Now these two plastic clips that just come down and they attach to the frame of the Thule. And that's it. Now imagine, crazy day, and it started snowing. Not highly likely, but if that happens you've instantly got protection here, or rain, of course, or if it gets really windy, all you do is just zip these guys down here, and uh, the bottom piece just Velcros, and now you have a waterproof seal for your little one. The breathability, so that they're not, of course, suffocating on the inside, uh, comes from the sides as well as the back of the chariot. So now I can literally uh, take her out 
and not have to worry about having a rain jacket or anything like that. She is protected from the elements. Okay, so when I am done with those layers, I can actually just pull all those layers back. And on the back side, I'll just show you, there's a little mesh pouch that you can literally just tuck everything into. And it's just no mess, no fuss, super easy. Um, another feature for usability that I really like is this back pouch, right? So it can be covered in case, again, it rains or whatever have you, right? Um, it does have some uh, water resistant material so that you're not going to get everything wet in there if it did rain or snow. Um, it is probably a, I'm going to say, 8 liter bag. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but the, this bag allows you to carry all sorts of stuff. I mean, I could fit my entire diaper bag in here if I want to uh, and still have room for my own water bottle. It is very uh, user friendly that way. Okay, now another thing I really like about the Thule Chariot is its versatility. So I am an active individual. I love to be active with my daughter. And I love that this Thule Chariot allows for me to do a bunch of different activities with her. So with the wheels that are on the front, those came with the Thule Chariot when I purchased it. Um, they're great for keeping a shorter profile for the Chariot. As you can see, it's quite big. Um, <coughs> And they're very, very easy to switch out. Now, I can switch those wheels out for a front wheel that allows me then to um, more easily jog, okay, because it helps keep it straight. Um, it allows me to get over snow better if I am, because I live in Canada. So if I'm trying to get over snow, it's just much easier with the uh, bigger front wheel, and I'll show you that in a second. And, uh, and the wheels can also be switched out for skis which is again very friendly for a Canadian uh, climate. So I will just show you how I switch out my wheels. So I put the brake on and I literally just tip it back, of course, when Ella's not in the chariot. And all I do is there's a button on the side here. I'm not sure if you can see. There's just a button on the side that I literally push in and the wheel comes out. Like it's that easy, super simple. So I do that on both sides. And now I can put my other wheel in. Okay, so I've got my jogging wheel. Uh, this wheel it is just its super easy to put together. Again, something that I would just look up a Thule Chariot YouTube video uh, to do that. And all you do is you just press the two buttons down here. You just insert it into the two open areas of the front side of the chariot. And once you hear a click, okay, you are ready to go. All right, now once you put this back down, you'll see that it's now a longer profile, <clears throat> but excellent for uh, self-correcting to keep it straight. So when I'm jogging, I can literally take my hands off for a couple of strides, just having the bar nice and close to me, and it will stay straight. Okay, not like a stroller that would have the, those two front wheels on. So it is excellent uh, for jogging. Okay, so this is the piece that you need if you're going to get a bike attachment. Uh, again, it, this actually just comes assembled, ready to go. And to use it, I mean, I can show you how to put it on quite quickly. I find that it's easiest if I put it onto my bike first and then attach it to the Thule. So you just need to get this uh, piece here attached to your bike. I had my husband do that. That's something you can YouTube. Okay, uh, you slip this knob in to the front pin goes down okay and then there's a little rubber flap that wraps around to secure that pin in place all right this little strap here which is just basically an extra piece of reinforcement which clips in now you've got this piece back here and this works just like uh, the front wheel so I'm gonna tip this back take my front wheel off here okay and this guy just literally fits in you have a little bit of a wiggle and again just clicks into place. Now you've got this D-link hook on the side of the bar. So I just wrap the strap through and attach to the bar. And now I'm ready to go. Um, so I really like to use it with my bike. A couple things that I don't love about the Thule Chariot. Um, first off, I mean it is an amazing piece of equipment but you certainly pay for it. Uh, it, is, uh, it is up there in price. Uh, what I do like about it though is that the resale value once I've used it is about 60% of the initial cost. It's the second thing that is a bit of a reservation. It is quite large. Um, you might struggle to fit it into uh, a trunk. 
Um, although it does collapse, you just str struggle to maybe fit other things in um, as well as the chariot. It's not the most convenient thing that you could bring into a shopping center, for example. You'd take up quite a bit of elevator space uh, to get this in, and you'd certainly struggle with it on an escalator. Uh, so we have an umbrella stroller for our indoor activities. So what I actually had to do was carry her in a baby carrier on me until she was old enough to hold up her head on her own, and then we could put her in the umbrella stroller. So I think she was about five months uh, before we put her in the umbrella stroller, um, and that's just a reservation um, for purchasing this guy. If you're active outside and you want to go for walks in the snow and you want to go on heavy terrain, you want to take your baby hiking with you, this is the piece of equipment to do it with. Uh, the third thing that I criticize, but I shouldn't, it would be nice if it just came with a cup holder because there are lots of days where I went for walks, especially after the baby was born. Um, you know, that first, after that first month, uh, for, till about the third month, I wasn't doing much for physical activity other than walking, um, just to allow my body time to heal. Uh, so it would have been nice to have a, a place for my cup of coffee in the morning. It just would have been nice to have that right from the get-go. Um, and I'll just show you how it collapses. So I'll detach it here. Detached. And I'll just put my stroller wheels back on here in order to collapse it. So there are a couple of uh, bigger looking knobs just on the inside. So these guys, all you do is you pull the red knob towards yourself as you push this gray panel down, okay? And then you do it on the other side as well. Red button in, gray panel down, and then it collapses. And once it's collapsed, that's when you'd put it into your vehicle. It's probably about, I'm guessing about 20 pounds, but it's not that difficult to lift, right? So you just lift it up, you can put it into your vehicle. It is quite easy to lift. So that's my review of the Thule Chariot. Uh, my overall opinion, I absolutely love it. I couldn't live without it. Or my life, my quality of life just wouldn't be as good. Uh, without it. It has allowed me to do all sorts of workouts with my little one. It has allowed me to get back into running. I can run at the dog park with my dog, uh, which is great. I haven't tried it on skis yet. I am super excited for that opportunity. And if you're interested in seeing how I use it to be active with my daughter, uh, you can check out my channel, Everyday Fitness with Lisa, and you will find a number of videos that you can use uh, to guide you through to be active with your little one anywhere from the age of uh, one month to, well, nine months is how old she is right now. So we're working together to uh, continue that exciting adventure together. So thanks for joining me today. Take care and good luck. I hope you love your Tilly Chariot if you choose to buy one.